Before I start this video, let us all have a moment of silence for Chadwick Boseman, who passed away last week. Alright, with all that being said, enough depression, let's get into the video. Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, AK After I Saw, and this time it is going to be on Bill and Ted Face the Music. That's right, guys, even though this film is on VOD, uh, the theater that uh, I went to is the same theater where I saw The Rental and Sputnik, those movies that were also available on VOD and not widely released. So I was lucky enough to see this film in an actual theater again, and uh, yeah. Because movies, they just need to be seen on the big screen because... But but anyways, uh, let's get into it. So this is the third installment in the Bill and Ted series. First film came out in 1989. Second film came out sometime around the 90s. I don't entirely know for sure. But uh, in this film, Bill and Ted are, are, are men now and they're married. They have two daughters and uh, now on they have to go back in time and find ways to get this uh, song otherwise the world is going to end and it's basically a straightforward uh, comedy film just like in the first movie and the second movie in my last video I said I didn't watch the first two movies um I recently watched the first film I've been trying to look for the second film I couldn't find it anywhere uh, so I don't know entirely sure whole lot about that film. I know uh, one of the characters from the second film returns in the third film, so yeah. But uh, what can I say about the first film? It's fantastic, okay? It's, it's a really fun film, okay? It's dumb, it's silly, but so is Dumb and Dumber, and that's a great movie as well. But, uh, you know, all in all, you know, it, it's a pretty fun film, and I can say without a doubt, this was also really fun, and that's really surprising for a sequel, you know, to, to a comedy franchise that came out years ago. They did that with Dumb and Dumber, and it didn't go so well. Even though back in 2014, I gave the movie a positive review, but as time goes on, opinions sometimes change, and it really doesn't hold up. This film, however, I think is definitely going to hold up, okay? What's great about this movie is that it never loses its charm. It never loses the charm that the first film had, you know, because it's basically kind of like the same thing. It, well, sort of, not really, but I mean, it's, I mean, there are differences, okay? Because in the first movie, they've been having to go back in time, you know, to get answers for their their exam, while this one they're trying to find a song to basically play for the entire world and, you know, basically save the world. What's, and what I love about this is, you know, after having to watch those movies, it really amazes me that, you know, even after 30 years, even though they're all grown up, they still act like the characters that they were back then, okay? Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves are, once again, great as these characters. It's great to see them back, and they never seem to... The comedy never seems to slow down. And I really love the humor that this, that these movies take, okay? It's not at all stupid or raunchy or filled to the brim with unnecessary fart jokes. I mean, yeah, the first Dumb and Dumber had it, but they took it... For a more intelligent route. I, I know that sounds weird, but uh, basically, look. The point is, it's it, the first movie is definitely much different than the second movie because the second movie, uh, it, what, 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 whatever. Okay, but uh, seriously, the comedy just never seems to slow down. Every joke, most of the jokes throughout the entire film, I found very hilarious. And uh, there never seems to be a dull moment, and that really surprised me. It, they put in a lot of effort into this movie, and it's a shame that, that they had to put this on VOD, because it would have been great to see it on, on the big screen, because there's quite a bit of special effects. It does look a little cheesy sometimes, like the green screen is pretty noticeable, but so was the first film. But uh, honestly, that, that can be forgiven because the movie is goofy and it is pretty silly for the most part, but it's that good type of silly, okay? The two daughters that they have in the movie are great as well, okay? They, they, I love how they act just like Bill and Ted, okay? It, it's absolutely hilarious. I love how, you know, they're basically going on an adventure to find their dads and I, I don't want to give away certain stuff, okay? Although I will say it does kind of end a little abruptly, like... Uh, 
it's kind of hard to explain because I don't really want to spoil because if you're a fan of the first film, I really think you should definitely check this one out, okay? Another thing that I was really surprised with is how much heart the film had. Like, this film was pretty heartfelt, and that's something that I did not expect that this film would have so much of, okay? And especially towards the last act, like, because, you know, there, there are parts of the movie where Bill and Ted, you know, might might lose their wives as they travel in time. They feel like, you know, they're going to make things worse with their wives, but they want to try to find ways to, you know, make sure to get that song and not lose their wives. And it's the same in... It's the same uh, women they married, you know, it's the same women that, uh, you know, they, they, they met a long time ago from back in the century or when, when they traveled back in time, but uh, yeah. Overall, Bill and Ted 3, uh, Face the Music, was surprisingly a really fun film, okay? It's well paced, it's very well acted, it's funny, it's basically what I want to see more in comedy movies nowadays. I want to see more of this. It never loses its charm. It uh, never seems to butcher anything from the franchise. It manages to be a sequel that is actually, that was actually worth, you know, decades of waiting for. Even though I'm not sure if they fully announced it years ago, probably not. But uh, I'm glad that Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter managed to come back for another movie and they never seem to lose their charm. They're, they're, they're still lovable. They're still doofuses. They still act like, you know, how they were in their teen years with the first movie. And I, I, I love that, okay? It, it, it's a silly, fun time at the movies or at home. Like, seriously, if it's playing out of drive-in, I still think you should check it out, okay? But if you're a big fan of the first movie, I do not think you're going to be disappointed with this one. I had a lot of fun with it. And it's basically what I want to see in comedy movies more often. I'm going to give Bill and Ted Face the Music a 4 out of 5. A really well-deserving 4 out of 5, okay? I'm so glad. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really shocked of how good this movie was. I think a 4 out of 5 is just the right score that uh, a sequel like this truly deserves, okay? Like, seriously, I can't believe how good this movie was. But, uh, like, like, there was a fan who was, like, like really, really excited for this movie. And he, he was just, like, when he got to the end, he just ran out of his seat. And he was just jamming out and, like... Because, like, yeah, fans are really satisfied, and I'm happy about that. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.